Okay guys, welcome. I want to do today a way of showing you how you can add your banner without actually having to pay for a third party. Um, because this is something which catches a lot of people out and I thought this would really work well for you to help you, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how I do it um, and how it, you can do this way. It's not going to cost you a penny, all right? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the screen uh, I'm going to talk to you hi so you can see that I've just been fiddling around with bits and bobs now the idea of when you have a banner is if you're using mailers um, it has to have a HTTP so it has to be hosted so the banner has to be hosted with inside another website which you can use paid people uh, and some people charge as little as seven dollars a month but if you're one of these people where you just haven't got the money or you just think, well, I, I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Is there any other way I can do it? Is there a way I can do it for free? Well, there is, and I'm going to show you that way that you can do it for free. Um, so, as you well know, you can actually buy or, or you can actually get a WordPress uh, account completely free, right? You can actually go up now, sign up, WordPress.org or WordPress uh, WP, uh, and you can actually sign up for one free. And then when you do that, it allows you to upload... Uh, media into your WordPress account and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I do it where it doesn't cost me any money okay so you'll see at the moment I'm fiddling around at the moment this is Mousy this is a mailer it's a really good mailer okay and you'll see I've got um, nearly o over a million credits okay uh, which is my banner ad and what I thought is I set this up so I've literally set up one with Apintron okay because Apintron is where I give away Bitcoin basically uh, and I can build up my list this way and then I've got my image okay this image is actually built with inside the Apintron um, and then my target is built with inside that as well the same as my elite list club which is one here this is my elite list club which is my actual mailer and you'll see that this manner here I can grab because it's already hosted with inside this site but then you might be thinking to yourself well, is there any way that I can, uh, I do reviews and I want to host a review, right? Well, I'm going to show you, okay? So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a training tutorial on this. And this is going to show you how I would do this, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on one of these systems that has come out. Now, um, at the moment, okay, uh, I've been doing affiliate uh, it's called affiliate marketing free okay and i've been promoting this because i have put an upsell with inside this which allows people to put all their affiliate links with inside and then promote this as if it's their own product which allows them okay super duper things because it allows them to have a product of their own which they don't have to host they haven't got the support and they haven't got the cost of actually having it uh, and i do this for just 29 dollars and I set all this up. Now, what I've been doing is you'll see that I've been promoting it with inside here. Okay. So what will basically happen is if people click on this link, all right, which is built with inside Melzi, uh, if you watch the tutorial and if you join this, it will show you exactly what happens. But basically when you sign into Melzi, you get a countdown timer around about here, which starts to count down. And then just to the right hand side will be these banners, which I've included. Okay. And each time um you'll see i've got one view that's coming here we've got another view that's coming here and this is less than one hour and i'm starting to get views coming into this right so there's potential for people to click on this now there's nothing that's come out this moment because i haven't added any if you notice it's zero right so this is the next step i'm going to do so i'm going to add uh 200 in here which would give me 2000 okay and i'm just going to hit enter if we go back you'll see now i've got six thousand views assigned to this okay <clears throat> and you'll see that i haven't really taken a dent out of this okay so you know this is why this works really really well and eventually why i'm talking to you you'll probably see in any minute now you're going to get a view or a click now what's good is the, the click obviously represents the target the view represents your image okay so when someone has seen the view then it's going to click up okay so what we want is we want the click because once we get that click when we're laughing right because that means that they're interested and they may or may not opt into that 
So what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to set up, using Melzy, I'm going to set up another one. So you see here it's got image, right? Now it's got HTTP, uh, and, uh, and you can put HTTPS in here as well, which I've done, all right? Now, if you try to use in Dropbox, it won't work, all right? Because it just doesn't like it. So that's the reason why I want to show you this. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up with a target. So I'm going to set this up um, with... Uh, another product so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my latest product that I've been promoting all right and then I'm going to build this with inside that model so how I'm going to do that is I'm going to go into my commission gorilla right here where I find it there we go I'll click on here just gonna sign in And then I'm going to pr promote my URL link, right? So this works quite successfully, works very, very well. Uh, the only thing you need to work out is just your actual hosted image, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly how we're going to do this. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to look through for traffic. So T. I'm going to promote one of Dowers, which is just the only reason why is because I'm going to ride the traffic. Okay, and what I mean by that is that Dowers has already put lots and lots of money into promoting this. Um, so you know, time for chat. You can see that I'm I'm getting quite a few people that have been clicking on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Get Page, and I'm going to copy this bonus crate, all right? And then I'm going to go back into here. And I'm going to paste in the bonus quote. Okay, so that's done, right? Now we're going to concentrate on the image. Now, the image banner size, roughly, if we was to look at here and scroll down, you'll get 468 to 60 is roughly the best way or size to go for your image because it's pretty much default. Okay, so 468 by 60 GIF and I'm going to show you how you're going to do this we're going to make a banner completely free okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back <clears throat> and then I'm going to click on customize size and then the width so the width is that way right so this is going to be four six eight and then the height which is that way which is going to be 60 Okay, PX, which is pixel rate, and now I'm going to hit create new design. And all I've got is I've got my canvas with my template. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go, I'm going to head over to my Dropbox. This is my Dropbox account, and I'm going to look in here for traffic, it will be here somewhere in capital, possibly. There it is, time for chat, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this one, but what I want to do is I want this to already be cut out, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna use this one here first. And if I click on it, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up so it comes up with recent. It's gonna take a few seconds because I'm filming. There we go. And now I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to, going to go back to Canva. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Upload, Upload File. And I'm going to grab, because it's in Quick Access, this. That's what I want. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to upload this into the banner. Like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I need the product. No one knows what it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to Upload, Upload File, 
I'm going to go and search this inside my download folder. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for remove. So if I type in remove, because it's automatically saves as remove, then I should be able to bring up, here it is, there, look, see? Time for chat, remove. So if I click on this, grab that. And you'll see that it's working. Now I'm going to grab that across. And then I'm going to open this up like so. Okay. Right in the corner there like that. And we're going to use some money. Money always speaks volumes. Like that. Okay, what we got now? Now this might work, or it might not, because sometimes when you add GIF, it acts as... Um, I'm just going to change the background colour. This is why it was important I had the removed background taken off here. So I'm going to try and fade it in. Like that, okay. And I'm going to put this just over like that, so it looks like I'm purchasing time for chat, okay. Okay, so let's give that a well. So this is time for chat. I'm going to put this as four. And I'm going to save this. I'm just going to save it as an MPEG-4, so this may not work because we're going to need to convert this into a GIF, really. But what we're going to do is we're just going to let this load first because I can play around with this another time. I'm going to take this out. Take this out. And then what I'm going to do now is... Wait for that to load until I hear the ping, so I know it's done. I'm just going to try. Let's see if that works. Change that to five. We're going to save it. See, it's, again, it's done it as a oh, GIF. Let's try that. Download. So I'm now downloading this as a GIF. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back to Elements. I'm going to use this again because I thought that was nice. I'm just going to use this like this. Grab that. Over there, like that. So the idea is you're just trying to create, you know, someone's going to look at this and think, well, what's the new sensation that changes everything? What's this all about, right? And then what we're going to do is we'll change this to six. And then I'm going to save and share. I'm going to go to download. I'm going to go and change this to GIF again. And now I'm going to download in GIF format. Okay. I'm going to let this download. And then what we're going to do, we're going to upload these now into the site that I use to do this for free. And this is very, very simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own WordPress account. So as I said before, you can use your own WordPress account. You can download WordPress. You can also use Wix. You can use 
group funnels and use web there's lots and lots of ways that you can do this right because when you upload it it gives you um a hyperlink and i'm going to show you what i'm on about so if we go here you'll see that attached details so if i go back now you might be thinking where do i find this right so if we start from scratch so let's go to my darren's blog so this is my blog okay right now we're going to go to dashboard so this is what you'd be presented with and then what you want to do is you want to go to media and you'll see there's the library so that will show me roughly what i've got with inside uh, my library and if you click add new and this is going to open up this page here which says upload new media okay so we're going to click on select file and now we can add in so we're going to add this one in now all you've got to be careful is we can only take a maximum of 256 megabyte with inside this so what we need to do is just check properties and make sure that it doesn't exceed which it doesn't because it's in kilobyte so we should be able to pretty much take all three of these okay and we're going to upload these <clears throat> and it says here copy url to clipboard okay so where i've uploaded this it's pretty much telling me that i can actually copy these to clipboard right so um let's copy this one and now if i go back to melzy and i paste in my image and what this is this is a hosted link that i'm pasting in right now if i hit add it will show me whether or not this is su su successful or not right and you can see that that's working right you can see that little hand so this is great and i've got my star flashing here so the, the chances are this is going to be quite convertible it's going to work quite well um so what we're going to do now is we are going to add some stuff to it so i'm going to put i'm going to put 10 i don't know what i'll do is i'll put 20 and then i'm going to hit enter and that should give me 400 if i remember rightly Emma. Oh, it's going to be 600. So I've got 600. Okay, now I can try this. And I, if this works really well, then what I can do is I can go back and I can redo this, right? And you'll see that while we've been ch chatting, you'll see that we've got one view now on this. Okay, now you can pause this ad, you can delete this ad, you know, and remember, this is just only one mailer that I'm using at this very moment, right? And then because it's just what I've assigned it to. So what we do is just leave this working now in the background. But this doesn't stop me from doing this to other, you know, I, I could uh, add another banner ad somewhere else, right? I could go here, I could add a banner ad in here. If I want to add a banner ad in here, and this one here is my Elite List Club, okay? So if we go here and we go to... set up ads and you'll see that we've got all these clicks here right so what we're going to do is says you have three banner ads right click here to set these up now right so i can click here and now it's asking me to add in my banner name my banner url and my target url okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a banner url in here because i think this is great now as i said before banners must be 468 by 60 default right so where we've done that so add your credits to an existing no i don't want to do that uh, i want to set up a new banner so i'm going to put here um chat g extra right and then i'm going to add my banner url well i know what my banner url is all i need to do is go back here and just copy this one here okay so it's copy to url now if i go back to media click on library it's going to open up so if you think oh i can't find it darren i don't know where it is that's where it is here okay it's inside your media library and we're going to go back to here and we're going to paste in this gif now our target url is going to be well you know what it is because i showed you 
it's inside commission griller and that's our target URL so it's going to be our traffic time for traffic so we've just got to find it there it is time for chat so we're going to click on this and it'd be interesting to see actually this should go up because um, it's going to be people that are going to be viewing this right so we're going to click on here I'm going to grab this link and what's great about this is if you've already using commission griller you already have all this right so it's so easy to set up you know everything's done you've got a nice professional let's just show you what I'm advertising just in case you don't see you've got a nice professional um, review page which is completely done all right and it, and it just looks really cool and it it works well because they've been taken to that little link they come to this and they think whoa I can get this for seven dollars ninety five or nine dollars ninety five plus my bonuses and these are all my bonuses I include inside here you know it's, it's easy it's, it's easy for it to convert really well all right so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna pop the URL in here and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna preview the banner make sure it's working you see it comes up in the corner here and you can see the hands flashing which looks really cool the new sensation that changes everything right and now we're going to hit save and what will happen is the banner will come up here and that banner is done that banner is in okay so now the banner won't come up yet until I go as admin right now, this sounds crazy but it's almost like good cop bad cop right now I'll tell you why I say this is because I have to create an account which is this one here which is called Dazman 98 right and you see that I've got over a million credits with inside here um, and then for me to approve it so now if I go back to elite list club and I click on admin and log in as admin when I go to approve ads, it's going to come up with the ad which I've just created, right? Because I am monitoring and vetting to make sure nothing goes on here that shouldn't be there, right? That's why I do this. Uh, and then what I need to do is just click on this link here, it says Dazman98, and I approve. Your banner has been approved. So that banner now is floating around. Anyone that signs into Elite List Club and I've got over 700 members that's going out to 700 members so next time anyone signs in it's going to come up in the corner roughly around here somewhere because if we go back to here all right now if we if we go here and if we go back down to sub ads chat GPT you'll see approved yes all right so that means that it is working and then all I need to do then is I just leave that now and I just see if I get clicks now you see you get you do get clicks here so it, this does work right see really this one here we should edit, edit lifetime I mean these are displayed but we're not getting clicks on these right so if I click on edit and it's allowing me to really change these banners now this is something that I was using when I was testing okay when I set up a, a product I built a product called elite listings and it's like a first aid kit for showing you how to do this <clears throat> and um, I created lots and lots of things different ways to use it etc so you can see that, that that's how I do that right okay so hopefully that's going to give you an insight of how you can actually host um, a GIF or an image. Now GIF works better because it's got movement in it. Um, and, and as I said to you before, you, you know, it's just going to work better if we go here. Right. And if I add my GIF in here. Right. So you see this one here. You can see that the little hands working on this. So we've already done this. Now if I refresh this page, oh, it won't allow me to, because if I refresh the page, I'm going to lose this page, you see. Um, I'd have to go back into the banner ads. But what I can do is if I go to home, 
Now I'll scroll down here to set up banners. Now I'll go back up and you'll get one view there. We've got one view there. We've got one view here. So we've got one view already on here, okay? And we've got one view on here. And you can, with this, I can set quite a few of these up. So that's it. Um, that's a, a little bit of a training tutorial for you, showing you exactly how I would be setting up banners, where it's not going to cost you £10 a month, £7 a month, um, how you can do that, okay? Now, the only thing I don't think you can do, but it's worth looking at, is copying the address link in here, but I don't think that will work either because um, I personally would do it through WordPress because you've, up, you've, you've uploaded your own image, which has gone into WordPress, and then you know you know it's inside your own site which has a server right so it's gonna you know it's gonna be a much better idea to do that so that's it all the very best until my next tutorial video cheers